What's good, YouTube? My name is Velikin. Chagex released the Tier 1 Relics today, so let's have a look. So on their website, uh, we get to see the Tier 1 Relics. We are not going to watch the video together. Um, you can watch that one yourself. But let's have a look at the, uh, the Relics. So basically, we have Power Miner, we have Lumberjack, and we have Animal Wrangler. Um, what these relics have in common is that you will get a, either an Echo Pickaxe, an Echo Axe, or an Echo Harpoon. Uh, this will at, act as a non-degradable variant of the Crystal Equivalent with no requirements. Um, when you have it in your inventory or when you have it equipped, you get some benefits. Uh, they all say whenever you fail something, you have a separate 50% chance to succeed. I don't know what this means for tick manipulation, but other than that, uh, this seems okay. just speeds up your skilling. Items gathered from uh, any of these uh, skilling activities are automatically sent to your bank. Then, for pickaxe specifically, you will cause the rock not to deplete until you have mined four ore. This is kind of nice to have. Um, obviously, it buffs uh, higher level ores, you know, mithril, adamant, runite. Um, I'm thinking maybe when you're playing around with a blowpipe, you need to get your hands on runite bars in order to, to smith runite darts, let's say. Now you have uh, four bars instead of uh, instead of one, so that's really good. This does stack with existing mining gloves, but I don't think that matters too much. Then collected ores are automatically smelted. This is insanely strong. I value this extremely highly. Um, auto smelting is insane because you get to skip the coal requirement. Um, for areas that have like muddle load mine volcanic mine or blast mining this is not that good but you know you still have a crystal pickaxe here so it's it's all right then gems gathered from mining are automatically cut and grant crafting experience regardless of your crafting level this is meh, it, it's kind of whatever automatic gem cutting is not that big of a deal gems are relatively easy to come by and i think crafting is relatively easy to level so i don't value it highly at all Lumberjack, same thing, Echo Axe, Crystal Equivalent, you get, you know, 50% chance to succeed, whatever, uh, automatically send supplies to your bank, then you automatically burn logs for fire making, this is okay, it's not good, it's not bad, why is it not that good, because fire making is relatively easy to level, so I don't really care too much, if that makes any sense, um, automatic fletching, I think is kind of whack, uh, mainly because you get arrow shafts. If you, if you would be getting longbows, or, or dare I say planks, lots, lots of people on Reddit and Discord say this, they want planks instead of arrow shafts, then this would be very, very strong. Arrow shafts, not so much. So in terms of output, right? Lumberjack covers uh, three skills, woodcutting, fire making, and fletching, whereas uh, power miner covers only mining and smithing. This kind of balances things out. However, uh, wood cutting, fletching, and uh, fire making are so easy to level. I think Lumberjack is by far the weakest relic here. So I don't like it at all. Then Animal Wrangler. I need to fit this on the screen. Echo Harpoon, Crystal Equivalent, yada yada. 50% chance to succeed. Automatically sent to your bank. That's all nice. Then Fish have a 50% chance to automatically be cooked. Um... 50% is kind of awkward. In the past, we've had a 100, which was better, of course. <laughs> um, it's okay. It's it's not bad. 50%, it's, yeah, it's awkward, but it's not the end of the world. Attempt to catch fish one tick faster is good. It basically speeds up your skilling. So the auto-cooking and the, the basically the faster uh, uh, fish catching, it's interesting because if you are not interested in maxing, you can value this relic higher because you have easier access to food. So in that sense, I kind of like this relic. If you like to PVM a lot and you don't want to source your food or at least not spend a lot of time sourcing your food, um, this relic solves a lot of stuff for you. However, if you, let's say, have access to the Warrior's Guild, you can just buy your food. So I don't know. Uh, then we have a lot of Hunter buffs. Um, the main one having your chinchompas doubled when caught. Double chins is very strong. Um, however, you need to have chinchompas available in your route. Also, if you want to throw them, you need to have a multi-combat area available in which you can actually use the chinchompas, right? So 
uh, I know you immediately start thinking, oh, I get an infinite amount of chins, and now I get to use these chins for very fast range experience. Well, there are some caveats. So, apparently, these relics work in the mini games in which you would use them. Uh, this is found on Reddit, this information. I think Re the guy on Reddit found it from the Discord. I haven't been able to find it myself. I kind of want to get this video out. So apparently you can use this in the mini games. You would use the, the relics app. This means mining is available in, for Zolcano. Woodcutting is, is better at Winter Todd and fishing is better at Temporos. Also, mining specifically, because you get a crystal equivalent, um, this might be stronger in Chambers of Xeric with the Guardians and specifically Tombs of a Masket with the uh, puzzle of the uh, before the Akka room, basically. Especially if you do not have access to a uh, dragon pickaxe in your route, then having a crystal equivalent might be a lot stronger, right? Actually, if you go desert, you have access to the, the, to the, to the dragon pickaxe anyway. Either way, you might not want to be able to, uh, you might want to be grinding out Calphite Queen. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal, but it's, it's, it's worth mentioning. Also, because they are crystal tools, they kind of nerf Tyranwin slightly. Uh, all relics do. But, you know, if you are going to Tyranwin, uh, this, this tease, this release, basically, um, this shouldn't change anything for you. My personal first thoughts were, uh, if you are playing for points, I think mining is by far the strongest. However, this requires a little bit of, uh, of explaining. Auto smelting is valued extremely highly, in my opinion, because you get to bypass the coal requirement uh, for making bars. Woodcutting, fishing are AFK, mining is not. This is a big deal for me personally. I love AFKing, uh, and mining is not AFK, except if you go Varlamore. Varlamore has the bone shard splinter thingies that you can mine. I've done it in the main game, extremely AFK. So, you know, maybe you want to go there instead. If you are going desert, you need to reconsider uh, going mining because you have access to sand quarry and you have access to giant's foundry, which basically solves your mining and your smithing problems, in which case you do not need the mining relic. The same thing might be true if you are going blast furnace. Uh, you might also want to skip the mining relic if you have blast furnace available to you. You might be able to buy ores or you might be able to get a bunch of ores from PVM, drop them in the blast furnace and you'll be perfectly fine. I checked the Discord. Apparently, Animal Wrangler is the most popular pick. I don't know exactly why. I think it's because people want a PVM. So uh, I personally thought Power Miner was going to take this by like a whopping 80%, but it didn't. So people are loving Animal Wrangler. Maybe uh, there are some oversights that I haven't seen, but I think it's because of PVM. I am not 100% certain. So how do you pick a relic? Uh, maybe a little bit late into the video. That's probably why you're here anyway. So how do you pick a relic? Take the relic for a skill that you dislike the most. It's that simple. You don't like mining, take the pickaxe. You don't like smithing, you take the pickaxe. If you like mining and you like smithing, you take the pickaxe because it's that strong. Alternatively, take the relic for skills that are most difficult to level inside of your areas. However, woodcutting is relatively AFK. Uh, I think you have use and maybe magics available, uh, probably in, uh, in in miscellane anyway. I don't know, actually. I have to look that up. Anyway, woodcutting is relatively AFK. I would not personally have a problem with leveling this at all. Fletching is done after gathering enough logs, perhaps sourced through PVM. If you can source some logs through PVM, you just cut them and, uh, at the bank later and you, you've got your fletching solved. Fire making is generally easy. It's like super easy anyway. So I would not go uh, the fire making uh, uh, relic, sorry, the wood cutting relic for, in order to fix fire making because fire making does not need any fixing. Fishing is typically not a problem either because you have karambams available, karamba whams. Um, if you have last recall, you can bank them too. Cooking, same thing. Food on the other hand is a little bit of a different story. Um, if you want a lot of food for PVM, the Animal Wrangler Relic is a little bit better. But if you're playing for points, I don't know. Then, of course, smithing, mining, you've already guessed it. It's typically the hardest level, unless you have Desert or Blast Furnace available to you. In which case, I would say go smithing or mining. The Relic, I mean. So, to reiterate, in case you didn't fully understand, if you're playing for points... Think about the skills you would rather do without these relics, right? That's the approach you want to take. 
Anyway, thank you for watching and see you next time.